Hi, I'm Milton Rendell. Welcome to Real News Friday. Uh, look, we've revisited a site that we were a couple of years ago, Matt and I were, when there was a vacant block where the old uh, wheat silos used to be. And as you can see today, the uh, Metronet has built its new workshops there. And the irony of that is that we uh, closed the workshops in middle and over 30 years ago, and here we are, we've reopened again. But it's a good, look, it's a good injection of employment to the area, and certainly a good investment uh, for the area to, to help develop Midland and the surrounding areas more. Anyway, uh, on the residential side, we had 801 sales in the metropolitan area, down about 9.9% uh, on the previous week. Uh, stock levels are about 8,560. It's up about 1.1%. Um, but what we're all seeing is about 1.2% up on about a year ago. But what we are seeing is a gradual increase. And I feel that once we get towards that 9,000 mark, we may see a further slowing in terms of time it takes to sell properties. I don't think it's affect values, but let's see what unfolds between now and uh, probably late October. Now, in terms of rentals, um, there's 2,121 available in West Australia, down about 1.9%. Uh, which is down 10.9 per cent on a month ago and 20 per cent down on a year ago. So uh, we're certainly seeing this diminishing of uh, rentals available um, and we are starting to see a slow slowing of sales. So this would indicate that the demand for rentals will be on the increase over the next uh, 12 to 18 months and I think many of us have predicted that. So we'll still be seeing pressure to rentals and that's something the pattern we've seen certainly over the last 18 months. Anyway, in the meantime, if you're uh, thinking about real estate or uh, looking to answer some questions, check out our website realestateplus.com.au and I look forward to speaking again next week. All the best.